watch this video to know how to find the latest firmware for your Hype Vision devices. Lots of you over the Christmas period, they, they was on some various forums and even some direct communication with myself. Um, it's actually great feedback. I love interacting with engineers and installers, etc., to get this really useful information. But a lot of people are struggling to find the latest firmware for their Hype Vision devices. Now, there are two ways, and I suggest Moving forward, when you watch this video, check both places. You may find this is a very invaluable tip. It may actually save you a lot of time and hassle. So the, tra the traditional method would be using the Hype Vision portal. We all know it, so you can find your device, go into it, list your NVR, DVR, your I-series, M-series, K-series, whatever that is, uh, and find your firmware, download it, and update it. This has been around for many, many years. It's still updated, and it still is valuable, but, there is a new way of looking to see if the firmware for your device is actually the latest and if it is actually the portal. So there is two places you can look. These Hype Vision interactive screens are so cool. I've mirrored this off my laptop uh, through the power of Wi-Fi. If you do want more information on this touchscreen interactive display from Hype Vision, do contact your DVS sales rep. So the other way to check, which is a really useful little tip, uh, is going to the Height Vision UK website. So open up a web browser, heightvision.co.uk, and there's a couple of ways of doing it. Under support, you can go to firmware and it will list all of the devices. And you can simply select a device and it'll take you to that product page. Or the other way of doing it is going into products. And then, for instance, we could select um, anything here. So deep in mind NVRs, cameras, PTZs, uh, intercom. Very, very simple. So if we select the camera, so uh, Pro Series with Color View, for instance, these are, everyone uses Color View now. So obviously you get all of the detail, lovely, lovely detail, just keep scrolling down to the bottom and all of the product will appear. So for instance, if we just pick, I could have just gone right to the bottom here. So if we just pick like the 2347 G2 Ally, so it's a new Color View hybrid camera, double click on it and you've got there, the information, spec sheet, quick start guide, user manual, and then related brackets, all really helpful information. Now on some of them, there will be a firmware link for that product. And what you'll need to do on some of the products is, and this is something I have raised a height vision to fix moving forward. If you've got a black and a white model camera available, sometimes it's as simple as clicking on the black model. There's no difference in hardware, it's just aesthetic. You can scroll down and you will see then the firmware link here under the data sheet, which is the latest firmware for your product. And you can simply click on it, it will start to download it, click agree, you can start to download it, and it will then be ready for you to update your product. It really is simple as that. So it's just an alternative route. So if you're using the, uh, the traditional port method, you can continue to use that. It is definitely worth double checking on the hypevision.co.uk website underneath the specific product. And like you said, like I said, you may need to select the black tab if it is a white and a black camera model. Not all products, a disclaimer, not all products yet have their firmware linked to it. Again, it is something I've just chased Hype Vision on, so hopefully it won't be too long. But it is a definite benefit for another place to find your firmware for your Hype Vision devices should you want to update it. Other than that, take care, have a great week. It is the first week back. I'm hoping you've all got some fantastic things. There is some fantastic things coming from DVS through 2024, nearly to 23. But yeah, keep on looking out for us and what we're gonna do, and we do really appreciate your support. Other than that, take care and see you next week for another how-to video.